I'm joined by John McDessie, who fights at UFC Fight Night Calgary. July 28th, uh, you're taking on Ross Pearson. Uh, so how are you? How are you doing today? What are you up to? I'm doing, uh, I'm doing very good. Just finished the practice. Today was more emphasis. It was on wrestling and grappling. Okay, and what does your schedule normally look like uh, on the run-up? I know we're about kind of like a month or so away, but what's your schedule look like at the moment, and how is that going to change closer to the fight? Well, basically, my system is very, like, uh, I get very closer to the fight, becomes more specific, shorter, intense, uh, get the weight down, stay healthy. The most important thing is to stay healthy and, uh, you know, just try to enjoy the journey. And you're taking on Ross Pearson. He's like you've been in the UFC for quite some time now. Are you surprised that your paths haven't crossed before? I mean, the 155 division, I find, is the, the most talented, the most mm. stacked division in the UFC. So, uh, I mean, I guess, uh, you know, uh, it all depends on the UFC. You know, it's, <clears throat> as everybody knows how it's very unpredictable when it comes to their matchmaking. You know, sometimes they give you a top 10, then they'll give you a newcomer. So it's very, you know, with the UFC, it's very unpredictable. Mm. And what did you think when they put forward his name? I know he, he was coming off of four losses, but he managed to turn it around in his last fight. So what, what did you think about them putting forward uh, Ross Pearson to you for this next fight? Me personally, I, I, you know, I look, uh, you know, part, uh, Ross Pearson is a top competitor. He fought the, the, the best in my division. So it's going to be a very big test. You know, I'm not taking this, I'm not taking this fight uh, I'm not, I don't underestimate him. I'm uh, taking this fight very serious. Uh, I'm ready. You know, over here at Rufus Sports, they have a lot of tough, uh, tough guys who are helping me prepare for a guy like Ross Pearson. Mm. And like you said, you've got, you know, Anthony Pettis, uh, Paul Felder. So who are you kind of working with at the moment uh, in the gym? I mean, there's all kinds of top guys, you know. Uh, Ross Pe uh, Paul Felder, he, he fought Ross Pearson. Mm -hmm. and so, uh, you know... Uh, Anthony Pettis, you know, I moved on with all those guys. Uh, it's just right now, for me, it's mostly they'll have their fights, they'll have their opponents. So basically, you know, we're all focusing on our on our, 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 our style. Mm -mm. And um, how are you finding it there in Milwaukee? Because obviously you made the, the move from TriStar, didn't you, before your last fight. So how are you finding the change there? <clears throat> well, the difference is Milwaukee, especially when it comes to Duke Rufus, is... Uh, he has a lot of experience with the whole traditional background with the with the Muay Thai and the kickboxing and the karate and all that different. You know, he comes from a, a martial art uh, family, so it makes things much easier for me. Uh, he understands my mentality. He, he knows how to adapt. And most importantly, he, he lets us be our own personalities. He doesn't try to control us. So it, it makes things that much easier for me. And what what prompted the move? I know you had a, about a year out after that loss, but what prompted that move to to, to Rufus? Well, the thing is, you know, uh, I've been doing martial arts since the age of six. Uh, it's hard for me to to get excited. You know what I mean? It's and uh, being a try star, I try to be loyal. Uh, I try to, you know, listen. You know, follow the system, follow the the you know the guidelines, and it, it just didn't work out. You know, it's like a relationship. You know what I mean? You. You know, I was with I was loyal to TriStar for almost a decade in my career, but I wasn't really happy. You know what I mean? And I kept that to myself. I tried to, I tried very hard to make it work, but now uh, my manager Mitch Mayberger he uh, introduced me to Duke. He, uh, Mitch knows me for a long time. He knows my character. He knows that I'm a little bit different. I'm more open-minded. You know, I don't believe in controlling the athlete. I believe that the reason why I started martial arts essentially it's self-expression. You know, what I mean, there is no you know, there is no right way or wrong way. It, at the end of the day, it's up to the individual to figure things out. You know, I mean, this is why it's one-on-one -on -one combat. It's not a team sport because at the end of the day, it's, you know, I mean, it's one versus one. Mm. So then how did it feel having that time away and then, you know, getting back in the win column? How did it feel to finally kind of uh, take away that win there on your last fight? Well, for me, you know, the funny part is it's more than just winning. It's about uh, going, it's about performing and making things exciting. You know what I mean? That's the, the ultimate goal is to make things exciting mm -hmm. because for me, that's what counts the most. Mm. So then, uh, you know, with Ross Pearson, have you, like I said, he got back to winning ways as well. Have you looked at any of his previous fights? Obviously, he's been in the UFC a long time. So how do you assess him as a fighter and as an opponent for you next? 
I mean, Ross Pearson, uh, I find that he has a kickboxing Muay Thai style. He, he, he's a good, you know, it's, it's going to be a good fighting for the, for the fans. You know what I mean? Mm. At the end of the day, it's, it's to make it exciting for the fans. Yeah, definitely. And has there been any uh, specific training in preparation for him? Or do you like to focus more on, on kind of your development? No, no, for me, I always focus on myself. I never focus on my opponent. Right. Okay. And uh, CM Punk, obviously, was in uh, Rufus. So what was it like having him in the gym? And, and did you watch his fight? What did you think? CM Punk, is, uh, he has a big heart. You know what I mean? Coming from a wrestling background, uh, he, uh, you know, I give him a lot of courage, but a lot of heart to step into to the fighting, to fighting world. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's a big difference from fighting and, and fake, fight, fake fighting. Yeah. And has he been back into the gym after that fight? Sorry? Has he been back into the gym since? Uh, no, he hasn't actually. No, okay. he took a break. And do you think he's going to continue his MMA career? CM Punk? I have yeah. no idea. That's up to. I really don't know. Yeah. Okay. And what do you think about the lightweight division at the moment? Obviously, we have Khabib who won the title, but you've also got Ferguson as well, who was the interim uh, champion. Who do you think deserves the next shot at the title? Well, the thing is, when it comes to the 155 divisions, it's crazy, you know, you got, you know, you have so much talent. It's a big, talented pool, you know, so we'll see, you know, for me, fighting has always been mental. So at the end of the day, if you have a good team, you have a good approach, you have a good philosophy, you should believe in yourself, you know what I mean? Uh, it all comes down, anything can, anything can happen. Mm. And uh, the weight cutting issue as well has obviously been a hot topic at the moment. What's your uh, what's your views and opinion on getting rid of the early weigh-ins? Uh, me personally, I mean, I, honestly, I like the early morning because you just kind of get things out of the way with the you know you have more time to hydrate. Talking about the weight stuff, yeah. basically, bring it back to four o'clock. It just gives fighters more, longer time. Mm. So, I, I don't know. So, would you 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 prefer? I didn't because I didn't get to hear much of your response. You prefer the early weigh-ins? Yes, I do prefer the early weigh-ins. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, and going back to your fight, obviously you're fighting uh, in Canada again. So, uh, do you do you look forward to fighting in Canada, and and do you prefer fighting there to to perhaps elsewhere? I mean, of course, it's always good to fight at home soil. Uh, you know, for the Canadian fans, there's not a lot of Canadian stars, so I'm trying to make a big mark. You know, I really want to make it exciting. I want a lot of sweat and tears, and uh, I want to give the fans excitement. And I also found out that uh, apparently Dana White, he made that his personal card because it's his birthday. So uh -huh. I'm going to try my best to give him a good birthday present. Mm. So how do, you, uh, how do you picture yourself getting the win? How do you think you get it done? For me, it's always been to stay relaxed, listen to my team, listen to my coaches, and uh, and you know, let let July 20 come and we'll see what happens. Okay. Well, thank you very much, John, for talking to me. I'll let you get on with your day and back to training, uh, and good luck. And uh, we look forward to seeing our fight in July, uh, July 28th. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you so much. I want to I want to say thank you to all the UK fans. I love you guys. Thank you very much. Take care. Thanks for talking to me.